guys so today i'm gonna be re reacting to shiny's share love life performance and i hope you enjoy this video and let's get right into it i'm super excited this is one of my favorite favorite songs of shiny so yeah let's get right into it okay. <laughs> yes yes the stages are always amazing all the life Powerful. Yes. Oh, they just got right into it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Ooh, that blonde hair. Oh, is it blonde? Yeah, it's like platinum blonde. Okay. Mm. I'm never gonna get tired of saying that Jungkook's vocals are just so good. Oh, he's very unique, very unique. Mm -hmm. And those white and outfits are just amazing. Like, he looks so good on on the on the boys. Can airplane. Yes. Mm. Oh, this is, oh, this was this was back in 2015. Okay. Okay. I love this part. Hey, Nemo. Chicken Nemo. Harmony, yes. Yeah. My favorite part is coming. There it is. Oh my god. Yes. Whoa. Imagine after all that dancing and he's still able to hit that note. That's very impressive. Like wow, like they're dancing so much and so hard, like and then they're able to hit those notes. They practice a lot. So stable. And from what I know, Shiny hates to like lip sync. They hate it. And they show it. <laughs> That's why I'm so proud of the boys! Because they're talented. I know they can do it. I know they can do more. Yes! My baby, they're so talented! Well, I honestly miss Jonghyun so much. Like, I've watched a performance without Jonghyun after he passed away and it's it's not the same. You know, I still support the boys. I love them so much and I always, always, always support them. But you know, you can feel like the, like the emptiness. And I know the boys are trying their best to keep up after losing their brother. And I know it's hard for them. But yeah. Ooh. This is my first time seeing this part. Yes. Get it, boy. Woo. Amazing, amazing with the fireworks. Wow. But yeah, um, as I was saying, I know it's hard for the boys to perform without their brother. And I'm so proud of them for still being able to release songs and perform. Even though it's hard, I watched the performance of our page. And you can see it in their eyes, the pain they 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 felt and it was it made me cry, honestly, I just wish the boys the best. 
in the future and I really hope that they never give up their dreams because that was the dream of the five of them to be able to perform on, on stage and give it their best at every performance make the fans proud of them and they honestly have won my heart it's been six years since I got into K-pop and I honestly don't regret it at all because when I was when I got into K-pop I was going through a very difficult time and my depression and anxiety was just terrible at that time and when I got into K-pop it just that changed that totally changed that opened my eyes to a new world that I had no idea it even exists um, the music it was just so unique and so so re like refreshing to me that I honestly am so glad to my friend who introduced me to K-pop. Um, the oops, sorry about that. Um, the first song that she introduced me to was Super Junior's Breakdown, and I just at first I was like, "What is this? Like, why are you showing me this?" But yeah, then I then I started watching it like again and again, and I was like, "Hmm, they, this boys are pretty." hot <laughs> so that's how I started my love for k-pop honestly it was a very very long and difficult journey for me but then I got into them you know I got into shiny I got into my name with their song messenger no wait it was messengy yeah it, it was messengy and yeah and then I started getting into EXO and a lot of more groups like girls generation and oof, oof, that was just Oh, yeah, and I still don't regret ever getting into K-pop, and I'm gonna continue for the rest of, of my life until I die. Gonna love K-pop, and just gonna support Chinese forever. Um, OT5, <laughs> definitely. And yeah, but yeah, I'm super, super glad that I was able to react to one of Sherlock's live performances with the five members. They were just amazing and I really suggest for you to check out more of their songs and yeah you won't regret it because they're talented and they deserve all the love and respect in this whole world and yeah thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a lovely lovely day and always remember that there's always out there someone that loves you so please don't give up if you're also struggling with depression just like me I know it's difficult to live with depression but I trust me trust me that there's someone else there so please look for help if you really feel hopeless and you feel like you just want to give up please it's, it's it's important for you I know it's hard to say or oh, just look for help but please you're gonna feel better if you need someone to talk to you can like comment down below or Talk to a friend, to a family member, to a professional, because I'm pretty sure that they're going to help you. So please, if you're feeling sad, lonely, please talk to someone. It's really going to help. It's going to bring a big change change to your life. And yes, you know, when I found out about Jong Hyun's passing, I just couldn't believe it. I was at school at that time. I still remember going on Facebook and just, you know, just like scrolling down like the fees and all that and then I just see breaking from like all K-pop like that page and Chinese Jung Hyun was found dead at his apartment I was just like what? I just saw the picture the name and dead I was like no this can be true like this can be true like I can't like no I, I, I was like speechless for the whole day like after that I just couldn't believe it. I just wanted to get home and just cry like I wanted for it to be just like a nightmare or something that and I just wanted someone to like wake me up and I just couldn't believe it that it was true then like SM just confirmed it and then I was like no way it was a very very difficult time and even now I still cry like every single night and like I, I try not to cry I try not to think about it so much but I just can't help it because Jong Hyun just was a, such a lovely, charming, nice, sweet person that didn't deserve all the hate that he was getting and saying that it was his fault that he was feeling that way just was so wrong and fucked up 
of that like therapist that told him that because he really 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 even in his songs he wrote you can tell that he was asking help and no one gave it to him you know i'm pretty sure that his family tried to help him and very close friends but it wasn't enough the pain was just too much and the, yeah so just saying this to everyone out there please please don't give up please keep on trying you know it's worth it it's it's important but yeah thank you so much for watching this video i i i know i i already said that but i just wanted to talk to you but to talk to you guys about you know the importance of talking to someone and yeah thank you so much and i hope you have a have a lovely day thanks for watching